Go inside to make the drop. We'll wait out here. Yeah. Don't want to get her IDs taken. I suppose I should feign surprise. Hey, it's a pretty cool set. Even if it is like a million years old. They don't really care about the IDs unless you try to hit the bar. Found that one out the hard way. We would have been fine if you hadn't taken a swing at the bouncer. So I like the hard way. We'll be right back, gentlemen. Try not to set the building on fire while we're gone. Hmm. No security right now? I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. I love vintage game experiences. Have you ever heard of Overblood? You know what I think is a cool name? Dog's Bower. Do you like wrestling? I can't wait for NSFW New Year's Smash! The Violent Wings, the Future Foundry, it'll be a real slobber knocker. Hey, did you know that I'm in a multicast VR drama with NSFW champion Kiri Giri Soda? She's the world heavyweight champion. I can't wait for the NSFW Wrestle or Get Married show. You never know if it's going to be a match or a marriage. Or both. I can't wait for the cash and the shiffer robe ceremony. Papa Loti really needs that money. He's a father. Did you know that William the Penalty Hayes doesn't believe in dinosaurs? Rumor has it, that's how he got kicked out of the football league. It's offensive. Have you seen Cactus Canary's finishing move? The Chico Chico Bang Bang. I wonder who's gonna take the speedy road speeding ticket this year. I much prefer the VIP area. They could stand to serve some food, though. I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. Today's my last day off before the holidays, but I can't seem to stay away. Thanks for coming by so often. Just make sure you order something. Today's my last day off before the holiday. No VIP access today. Find another place to be. No VIP access today. human and the mechanical sidekick. I'm caught up in something at the moment. Chances are we'll cross paths again. What do you want? I'm pretty busy right now. I'm caught up in something at the moment.
should do it. That was an awful lot of fuss over a poster. I just don't understand the appeal of merchandise like this. I keep my important possessions on my data drive. I had not considered aesthetics. Though the art is competent, I'm not sure it is to my taste. But there is no accounting for such things. I hope that whoever gets it enjoys it. But that's enough navel-gazing. Let's head back outside so our benefactor can make the trade. Hey friends, what can we get for you? Later you two. Bye-bye. Oh, hey there. Do you need something? Later you two. Bye-bye. Y'all do the deal? How did it go? We left the poster behind the cabinet. Now we just need to wait for the switch. I've never had to wait more than five minutes or so before. It shouldn't take long. I wonder how he knows the drop happened and gets to it so fast. Don't matter. This guy's a solid feed, even if he likes to mess around. What do you need these passports for anyway? You said to trade for information, but what's the full story? Without going into too much detail, our informant needs to get out of Neo-SF unnoticed. The passports are one part of that. We also need to obtain an untraceable car. I don't suppose the two of you could help with that? No way, dude! Grand Theft Auto is a felony with a capital F! Besides, getting an untraceable car ain't in the same league as a piece of plastic that'll fool a hand scanner. Chad's right. Of course I'm right! The city's traffic management system keeps track of all vehicles passively even if you manage to circumvent their firmware and keep them from actively reporting to the network. You have to spoof the car as something permitted to be invisible for the CTOS to ignore it. I don't want to mess with boosting cars anyway. The junks run that racket in Neo SF, and they don't play nice. Especially with the HR. Well, thank you either way. You've both done us a huge favor. Call it even for the apartment. Yeah, Blue. No hard feelings. You give us a call if you need anything else. Long as it'll help you find your pops. We should get going, though. We were supposed to be home hours ago. My dad won't notice, but Ollie's will flip. You take care. Don't get derezzed. See ya. Goodbye. Let's finish the trade inside. Here the passports are, just as advertised. No, 
we need to find a car. Jess is right over there. Perhaps she may know someone who can lend a hand. Good thinking. Did you find your guy? Or wait, let me guess. There's something else you need from me. Well, you haven't been terrible to deal with so far, so I'm willing to hear you out. Barely. We need access to an untraceable car. An informant of ours needs to get out of the city without attracting the attention of Parallax and is offering valuable information to us in exchange. Seriously? Jesus, what kind of shit is in your life anyway? Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to be legally liable. I'm not sure why you think, just because I defend a few folks in the rougher parts of the city, that I would have that kind of connection. And even if one of my clients did run a carjacking business, it's not like society is clamoring to give hybrids legal jobs. Regardless, I'm not going to be an accessory to a felony or let one of my clients be either. I won't go down that path. I wouldn't know where to start anyway. I know we're reaching, but this is important. You just don't quit, do you? Okay, let me think. This might be a long shot, but you could try asking Majid. There are rumors he may have been involved in some shady stuff way back in the day. He'll probably be reluctant to talk about it, but there's a free lead for you. Get me another drink in exchange, will ya? Later. Huh. That went better than expected. I wonder if my charm is starting to pay off for us. Oh, you performed admirably as well. Onward we go. Hey, friends, what can we get for you? We were hoping you could give us a little information. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. <laughs> What'll it be? Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. He's better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for these days. Some of these cocktails make me need a spa day. Ooh. This one is... Does that sound good? Like what? Coming right up. Oh, he's better with a weird cat. This one is. Does that sound good? Here you go. So, what did you need help with? We've run into a roadblock in our search for Hayden. Word on the street is that he's gone missing, which I'm sure you already know. What can I do? Um, yes. An informant of ours needs secure transportation out of the city. But we don't have any contacts who would be able to get us an untraceable car. Jess mentioned that you used to engage in certain extra-legal activities. Perhaps you could point us towards someone who could help? Uh, he doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Right. Sorry, friends. I left that life behind a long time ago. <laughs> don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Of course, completely understandable. Sorry to bother you then. 
Well, no harm in asking, right? My reputation precedes me. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. Gus, I need to go to the back and gather up stuff to restock for the rush later on. Mind manning the bar for me? Take your time. I think I can keep things under control. Thanks. Love you, hun. Well, that leaves us at a dead end. Any ideas on how we should proceed? Some nose-to-the-ground journalist techniques for finding leads? No, Tomcat has already stuck their neck out for us too often. I feel a little bad about how much we've relied on them as it is. And besides, this is a considerably more felonious action. Morally, we should be dirtying our own hands. Um... That might be our only option. Though, last time we had to have Jess vouch for us so we wouldn't get sold for parts. Well, I'd get sold for parts. I don't know about you. Can you even use human parts for anything? Regardless, we might have to chance it. I hope you can ask around without drawing too much attention to us. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, the two of you are killing me here. Look, don't tell Majid about this. But, here. What is this, Gus? It's an automated vehicle maintenance scanner with a few less than standard upgrades. When you circumvent its security codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and replace it with a new set that will spoof its presence on the city's network. That's the gist of it, but we don't have time to get into any specifics. You need to get the hell out of here with that before Majid gets back. Look, Majid has done a lot to turn his life around, to turn my life around. I really respect that about him, and it's part of why I fell in love with him. He did what I was never able to. That's how we met, you know? That old rough-and-tumble life we both led. But when Stardust struggled and needed money fast, I had to get back in the game to keep us afloat for a few years. I told him it was all angel loans, donations from patrons, lots of things. He'd be heartbroken if he found out I'm still in the game. I had to do whatever I could to keep our new life, even if only one of us is really living it. I may as well give this thing to someone who wants to use it for good, too. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. We might finally be on our way to solving this mystery. Yeah, well, you didn't get it from me, okay? Just get out of here and get on with your little Grand Theft Auto. And let me know how it goes, okay? Of course!
as an extra cup holder. Oh, rats! This car has the wrong firmware installed. We won't be able to install our new firmware over top of it. We'll have to check another car. set off. Did I do something wrong? Let's get out of here before someone contacts the authorities. has old enough firmware, but its maintenance system is screaming a half dozen critical alerts. I'm not sure this vehicle is in good enough shape to go anywhere very far. We'll have to look for one in better condition. Success! This vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. Someone has been neglecting their regularly scheduled updates. Give me a moment to get everything installed. There. Hmm, there are some other options here I can fool around with. Ah, interesting. I can put in preset destination plans for a future date. Why don't we go ahead and set a plan for the car to return to this spot in a week? That's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to get away. Now we aren't really stealing the car. More like borrowing without asking. Me too. The car will drive itself to Golden Gate Park and we can show Mr. Mensa where it is when we meet him. There. Everything should be set up now. We still need to get the cash together before we can meet back up with Mr. Mensa.